Google Earth, a way for some of us to travel without leaving the comforts of our homes. For others, a way to pass the time. Whatever your reason for browsing Google Earth, there's no denying that you'll be able to see some pretty weird stuff. Like number one, which is like a rainbow, but on land. Stay tuned to find out what I mean. Here are 10 strange sights on Google Earth. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Airplane Boneyard. Officially called the Davis Monfan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona, this base started operating in World War II. It still continues to operate today, but not in the way you'd usually think. You see, Davis Monfan Air Force Base is now the largest airplane boneyard in the world. Although, when you look at it on Google Earth, it looks like the US is preparing for a major offensive, which at this day and age does sound disturbing. But don't worry, these birds' wings have long since been clipped. With the area's low humidity in the 10 to 20% range, meager rainfall of 11 inches annually, hard alkaline soil, and high altitude of 25-50 feet, allowing the aircraft to be naturally preserved for cannibalization or possible reuse, Davis Monfan is the logical choice for a major storage facility. The geology also allows an aircraft to be moved around without having to pave the storage areas. Any aeronautic enthusiast is going to have a blast visiting this place, as it is full of World War II-era aircraft and other since-decommissioned military planes. It even houses outdated ICBMs. As somebody who lives in Tucson, Arizona, take it from me, this actually is a really cool place to go to. Number 9. A Swastika-Shaped Building Adolf Hitler is definitely one of the world's least liked individuals, and for very good reason. So it's only logical for us to hate anything and everything that has to do with him or the Nazi party. That's why it's a bit weird for a Nazi symbol to appear on US soil. Not only that, the Navy owns it. I'm talking about a naval base in Coronado, California. It's actually a group of four buildings which were constructed in the late 1960s. The funny thing is they were grouped together in such a way that it looks like a swastika. Quite understandably, people found it so offensive, especially when viewing on Google Maps. To appease the public, the Navy set out on a multi-million dollar renovation on the buildings. However, they seem to have forgotten one crucial detail. The group of buildings still looks like a swastika. Number 8. A Forest on a Ship If you're using Google Earth and you find yourself viewing Australia for some reason, I suggest you take a look at Homebush Bay. I guarantee you're going to see something pretty strange. Once a center of industry, Homebush Bay was unfortunately contaminated with toxic waste and is now a commercial and residential suburb of Sydney after having been refurbished by the economic boom brought on by the 2000 Olympic Games. However, the bay's past as a successful trading port still lingers on in the form of four abandoned freighters slowly rusting in the waters. Once used to transport coal, oil, and war supplies, the ships were eventually decommissioned and simply left where they floated. The most remarkable of which is the SS Airfield, which has miraculously sprouted a lush forest of mangrove trees. The branches of the thriving trees spill from the sides of the ship, slowly breaking down the hull of the long-lived ship which was originally built in 1911. The trees have so completely overtaken the ship, it's a wonder that it still floats. Number 7. A Guitar-Shaped Forest Located in the fertile agricultural region of Argentina's Pampas is a guitar-shaped forest made up of over 7,000 cypress and eucalyptus trees. At around two-thirds of a mile in length, the guitar-shaped forest is quite visible for passing planes and satellites above. And, of course, virtual globetrotters on Google Earth. While its sheer size and scale is impressive as a piece of land art, the story of how it came to be is even more touching. The guitar forest was planted by a farmer named Pedro Martin Ureta. He and his four kids planted every individual tree decades ago. The inspiration came from Pedro's wife, Graciela Yaros, who was flying in a plane over Pampa one day and noticed a farm that, through a fluke of topography, looked a bit like a milking pail. Graciela proclaimed that they should do one better and make a giant guitar on their farm, and so he promised her he would. She unfortunately died in 1977. A couple years later, Pedro decided to honor his late wife's wishes and create the guitar-shaped forest she had always dreamed of. Number 6. The Badlands Guardian Located in southeastern Alberta, Canada, near Medicine Hat, this great geological wonder can only be seen from high above the ground, or by people who happen to chance upon it on Google Earth. Called the Badlands Guardian, it's a feature of the Canadian topography that eerily looks like a human head wearing a headdress, and of all things, earphones. 
The details are so stunningly vivid, you'd swear someone, or more likely a group of someone's toiled for thousands of hours just to carve this giant face on the rocks. But as it is more often than not, things are not as it may seem. The face was actually carved by Mother Nature herself. Over the years, erosion caused by rainwater slowly ate away at the clay-rich soil and carved out the head's magnificent features. The only things here that are man-made is the earbud, which is actually an oil well, and the wire, which is obviously the road leading to the well. The Badlands Guardian is just one of the discoveries we wouldn't have made without Google Earth. Number 5. Mysterious Patterns in the Gobi Desert a few years ago, Google Maps images have revealed an array of mysterious structures and patterns etched into the surface of China's Gobi Desert. The media, from mainstream to fringe, has wildly speculated that they might be Chinese weapons testing sites, satellite calibration targets, street maps of Washington DC and New York City, or even messages to, or from, aliens. Its true purpose has been fully uncovered, in a way, and the truth isn't really that far from some of the speculations. According to Jonathan Hill, a research technician and mission planner at the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University, the strange patterns are almost definitely used to calibrate China's spy satellites. Satellite cameras focus on the grid, which measures approximately 0.65 miles wide by 1.15 miles long, and use them to orient themselves in space. The 65-foot wide white lines that make up China's grids are not made of reflective metal, as many news sites have suggested, but rather possibly made up of some kind of paint. The existence of these calibration targets may seem suspicious or revelatory, but Hill said it really isn't. China was already known to operate spy satellites in many other countries, including the United States, do so as well. Number 4. Pools of Potassium What is it that you wouldn't expect to find in the desert? If your answer is pools of different shades of blue, then you are 100% correct. When viewed on Google Earth, these dazzlingly blue waters lie in stark contrast with the red desert surrounding them. But what exactly are they? These are potassium evaporation pools used to extract potassium chloride or potash, which is primarily used as fertilizer. Intrepid Potash Inc. operates three potash mines in the United States, with one in New Mexico and two in Utah. The most famous and most photographed of these locations is in Moab, Utah, where the electric blue potash evaporation ponds provide a psychedelic sight in the otherwise reddish desert. The water in the evaporation ponds is dyed bright blue to help it absorb more sunlight and heat. This reduces the time it takes for potash to crystallize, at which point it can be removed and processed for use as fertilizer. As the evaporation process takes place, the pond changes color. At times, most of the ponds are a vibrant electric blue. Sometimes, however, the ponds display a range of colors, creating a rainbow of blues alongside strips of turquoise, orange, yellow, and white. This indicates different stages of evaporation. Number 3. The Desert Breath Rising out of the Egyptian desert are small mounds or big antles, you pick and choose, interspersed with round holes of dimples on the sand, arranged in a weird spiral pattern. One look at this, especially on Google Earth, most will immediately think this is similar to a crop circle, which are thought to be the handiwork of aliens. However, in this case, it's actually man-made. This strange pattern is actually an art installation called Desert Breath. This is made up of nine cones and 89 matching depressions, which spiral out from one another in two geometrically precise arms that increase in diameter the farther they get from the central axis. At the center where the two strings meet, a cone rises up out of a large central pit, which was originally filled with water. Despite being otherwise unadorned, the mathematical precision on display at the site creates a sense of wonder. Desert Breath was purpose-built to slowly erode back into the swept sands it was created from, and in the years since its construction, it has begun to do just that. Now it's time for the day's best pick. To change things up a bit, today we're not going to talk about any specific photo, but a phenomenon that started when people started to casually browse Google Earth. Number 2. Sea Monsters Today's best pic shows us a photo of what seems to be a giant serpentine creature. Could it be a real creature? Could it be a hoax? Yeah, who knows. What we do know is, images of giant unidentified creatures have been seen on Google Earth since its inception. Like this, for instance, which made the rounds on the internet back in 2016. People seem to think that this is some kraken-like creature that was captured as it broke the surface of the ocean. It has since been disproven, however, and it turned out to be just a rock. And here's another one, which is of a monstrous giant crab hanging out off the coast of Britain. 
Gramzilla, as this thing was named, could be an editing job or it could be real. Nonetheless, the Mirror reported that when this image surfaced, it caused a great deal of panic in nearby areas. Are these real creatures captured by Google Earth? What do you think? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Grand Prismatic Spring At first glance, this photo might look photoshopped to you, or if you were me, a close-up of a pus-filled zit. But this isn't a pimple, and it is 100% real. And it's located in probably the most famous national park in the world. This is called the Grand Prismatic Lake, also called the Rainbow Hot Springs, located in Yellowstone National Park. This lake always shines with the colors of the rainbow and was first officially described and named by the Hayden Expedition in 1871. And now, thanks to Google Earth, we can see it in all its glory without the hassle of traveling. Believe it or not, tiny microorganisms call these hot springs their home, and they are actually responsible for the amazing colors that we see. You see, these springs are heated in such a way that the temperature varies from the center towards the edge. It just so happens that different kinds of bacteria live in these different temperature zones. And these different bacteria refract sunlight differently from each other, giving the lake its myriad of colors. Have you found anything strange while globetrotting on Google Earth? Let us know, or better yet, send us a photo. Want to watch more videos about our amazing planet? Click on any of the links you see on your screen. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.